Welcome to another exciting adventures of Metro Exodus. Please like and subscribe to this video. It really helps a small channel like mine. Metro Exodus Part 5. Here we go. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? So this brings up a good question, and a good time to ask it. Would you listen to the government? or a voice on a radio telling you that they're the government? And would you stay underground in tunnels in this metro where everyone is tearing each other apart, dying and struggling just to get enough supplies to, to stay alive? I don't know if I would. I'm not saying I'm anti-government by any means. I think the government serves a great purpose. But I don't know if I would trust something on a radio telling me to do something without, you know, sticking my head up out of the ground to see what's going on for myself. I don't know if I'd be like Antium, you know, if I would, um, uh, Artium, if I would, um, uh, have enough guts to venture out and see what's going on for myself. But I do know that staying underground for 20 plus years in the metro like that with all the dead bodies and with all the starvation and scavenging just for the basic parts i don't know if i could do it or not what would you guys do tell me down below in in the comments let me know if you guys would um you know stay in place or would you venture out would you try to find something better uh or would you you know stay in place and and you know believe that they were under occupation and and so on let me know froze anything off yet darling <laughs> here let's warm you up a little bit so what do you think our chances of getting to yamantau alive are it's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Whose dumb idea was it to hide out in front of the train? Are you all right, Atyom? Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. 
The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with our team, too. As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you're not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Here, Mac. When can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder. A full day at least. I see. Get to it, then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. God damn, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, sir. Let's go, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, I've got the chatter. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys... Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they serve the enemy. Enslaved or something. This whole time I've been trying to figure out how to get off the train. I couldn't do it. I was backing up and going forward. I had to wait for them. I feel dumb. Hey, what was that? No, I don't know. What was that? I was sliding down. Could you check it out? No. Why do I gotta do it? So I was trying to figure out the controls here, and there's crafting supplies, but I couldn't figure out exactly how I was supposed to take care of them. So there's some chemicals that were on that guy, and it seems like any corpse that's sitting up tends to have items on them. So there were some crafting materials in here. You need a lot. You will go through a ton. Oh, well, that guy's laying down, so he still had stuff too. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. By the way, she has a rifle. I have a little pistol. But mine has a silencer in. In this game, you really want to be quiet. I'd probably stop to take a drink of water or something, so she's all walking on her own. Okay, so I'm still learning out like how to save and so on. So under the options menu, that's where you'll find the save. You can move around. These are pretty open. Uh, it's like a mini sandbox every time you stop. So you can move around a lot and, and deviate um, from the path. But, you know, I played other first-person shooters, so I know when I start deviating off the path, I'm going to get killed. 
but I do know that I need like crafting supplies and, and there's all kinds of like journals and stuff around so he's sitting up so he had stuff on him okay oh see he has a, a gun So now I have the parts to do that for my gun. But then I realized I took his gun and, you know, I wanted mine with the silencer. More chemicals. You'll need those to make any kind of healing. And you make a lot of your healing potions. It's like a a healing injection med kit that you can use. So I'm trying to weasel my way through, see what's going on. I don't want to take too much time because I don't want to turn around and have my wife dead or something on me. Wait, what was that? And then I'm thinking like, how do I get down again? Why am I running in the middle of the road? <laughs> Is asking to get shot. <laughs> now she said a, a boat. So again, I wanted to look around like these these houses and stuff and see, yeah, see more more chemicals and supplies. And right now, I just missed some chemicals, but right now. In this stage of the game you don't really need a lot of this stuff but you will later on and it does help to get it you know as much as you can now see oh more chemicals almost missed it now that light flashing on my wrist says that people can see me I'm not hidden so whenever you see that that's what that's from see circle to take the bullets Already had that gun. So I'm just trying to be as thorough as possible. Moving myself around the rooms. Trying to get into as many rooms as I can. At the same time, it looks pretty safe here. There doesn't look to be a lot of um, enemies around. So I feel like I can you know, pretty much move around the sandbox if I want to. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call Great. you when I'm settled. Awesome. So gonna die. Break a leg. Break a leg. So the first thing you'll realize when you get into the boat is that this thing is hard. I'm like trying to figure out like, so if you look certain ways, look, the crow's even laughing at me. <laughs> I'm going in reverse. He's like, is this for real? He's probably thinking there's a toddler on this boat. <laughs> so I tried standing up, I'm like trying to figure out is there another boat I'm supposed to take? Oh, and then I saw that. No scope, no nothing. And I tried to shoot it. Artyom, I'm at the top. It's an excellent spot. That's great, but didn't she notice the ginormous thing on the other side of the land? I'm like, I better back up. Soon he's gonna come and eat me. So I'm wondering where it went. It's like kind of. I saw it like jump up and head to the water. Last thing I want to do is fall into the water. So 
Might as well give this boat thing a try. Oh, there we go. And it's like a... The control came up. You just have to hit, like... I think it's R1 to go forward. But it also depends on... Oh, see, here they come. Now, what I didn't realize is that they're attracted to sound. And when they start getting close to the boat, you have to stop moving or else they attack you. And I was like, oh, how do I get over there? <laughs> There's another one of those things. I'm like, um, am I supposed to jump? But there's some rocks or something's right under the water. So I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> gonna venture off. I thought if I looked to the way I wanted to go, I would go. Uh oh. That sounds like bad advice. I'm gonna get killed. Still going in reverse. <laughs> Should have just went in backwards. Would have been easier at this point. Well, at this point, I'm wondering if I'm either going to get eaten or if I'm ever going to make it to the church. But I think at this point, we're running out of time. So we're going to save it here. Oh, there's collectibles, hints, probably some other stuff I should be looking for while I'm doing this. But as we finish up today... I want to say that this world is beautifully done. The story is well, well thought out and the characters are awesome. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I see you next time for the final or for another chapter. Please like and subscribe this to this video. It really does help a small channel like myself out. And uh, I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you.